Hey, what's going on, folks? I'm Automatic. I'm live streaming right now, but probably not when you're watching this video. Maybe I don't know. But while I'm live streaming, I get a lot of questions. One of them in particular is about how retribution works for Gil. And I did go over this in the massive, massively buff and burly hour long uh, Gil tutorial. But uh, if you want just to zoom in on that section, maybe we can cover a little more things uh, with that as well. So, Gil does not have crush counters. He has a... He has a state called Retribution. But first you have to have an element on your opponent. So he has Fire and Ice, his special oh. moves, the Lariat and the Kinesis Pyro or Pyrokinesis. They're either Fire or Ice depending on which direction you perform it. So like back, quarter circle, punch. Ice Cryokinesis, quarter circle, forward is pyro and then with lariat same idea quarter circle back kicks lariat quarter circle back quarter circle forward with kicks fire and uh the ice does more stun the fire does more damage but these moves are one of the three ways you can access putting an element on your opponent but you have to use ex for the special moves so if i use ex lariat with ice it's gonna make them in the ice thing and their stun is not gonna recover unless they hit me the other way around, if I do that with the EX Lariat, put them on fire. Same thing is true for projectiles. Get projectile, they're on fire. Now, the other way to do it is with the V Skill 1. A little bit more tough to get that to hit. Sometimes your opponent jumps into it, and you know, but this one's gonna take some uh, research to really figure out the, the most effective use of it. But that is like a free way, if it hits, to, hit, to, get, to put them in a fire or ice state. And that's determined by which V-Trigger that you pick. V-Skill 1 is going to be fire if you play V-Trigger 1. It's going to be ice if you play V-Trigger 2. So the other way to get them uh, either burning or on hot, while you have V-Trigger activated, whatever V-Trigger you pick, this is V-Trigger 1, my fire moves are going to, they're going to light them on fire. So the tackle is going to put them on fire. And uh, the fireball is also going to come on fire. And the same would be true for V trigger 2 if I did Lariat or Ice. So I don't have to use meter anymore. So, that's not, I don't think that's what you consider retribution. That's how you get to retribution. So when you have them on fire, and then your next move has an ice property, that's what's going to cause retribution. So in this case, uh, my overhead is now going to cause retribution because they're on fire and the overhead is for Fort Heavy Watch. This is, this is an ice attack. So this applies for normals and specials. And some of the V-Trigger specials as well. So, um, Crouching Heavy Punch. Ice, that's going to cause retribution. The other way around, if I have them on ice, Ice Lariat, now my forward Heavy Kick will cause them to do the same thing. This is a retribution thing. This gives me more juggle. So I guess I should talk about what retribution really does. It either, it either gives you a juggle or it gives you more hit stun. It does not work on block. It doesn't work on armor moves. Uh, that's that's pretty much it. You want to hit them with it. So let's talk about function, right? Magneto. How do you magneto these moves? What do you what do you do to actually make use of it? So I find that the key to this is crouching heavy punch. Or, we'll, we'll talk about Crouching Heavy Punch first, because Crouching Heavy Punch, as anti-air, is going to lead into uh, EX Projectile. I think this is the correct way to approach this. And then, you get forward Heavy Kick, and then you got to knock down while they're on fire. So, when you use medium, le medium or Heavy Lariat, whatever property they have, you get Crouching Heavy Punch. And this, I think, is the key to unlocking a lot of the power out of this character. Is you have to you have to send that clear message to not jump at Gil. And I think this is one of the ways to send that message. And now you have this knockdown. And then when you do have when you have a pick from like this, you have tons of damage and then you have OP again. Off for of that kind of combo. So that's where the retribution effect is devastating. Uh, there's other ways to use it, like um, if they are on ice. So let's, let's just set this up with the crouching heavy punch. I hit them with heavy kick here to cause a juggle and not not cause retribution so that they still have they still have it on the knockdown. And then from here, my standing heavy punch is gonna cause retribution and now link it to crouching heavy punch. 
So, either way is pretty fine. I guess you save a little bit more meter like this. So the difference between meeting with meeting with standing medium punch and standing heavy punch. Standing heavy punch is minus two. Standing medium punch has more plus frames. Uh, and it's faster. It's much faster. So you can see both of the knockdowns a little bit better with the speed. But that is such a critical aspect of being able to use retribution. Now there's, there's many ways to use it too. Like um, in this combo that I often use. The crouching medium punch and then activate the EX power, power kinesis and act activate. That's going to put them on fire. And that's why this crouching heavy punch causes retribution and then they're in a higher juggle state. So that's how this combo works. And as I discussed earlier, this V trigger one firewall is going to light them on fire again. So that's what's going to give me that second crouching heavy punch to also cause retribution. And then they're on fire again, so this ice cycle is going to cause retribution. And then this knockdown, they're on fire again. So I want to convert to this tackle if I can. You know what I'm saying? So you cannot switch elements. If you cause if you cause retribution, they always go back to normal state. So if I do, uh, like for example, this fireball and then this, that's an ice tackle EX, but it does not make them freeze. So this is how you gotta really manage it. You gotta be careful with your move choices. Uh, is there anything else I wanna go over? The uh, V trigger moves as well cause them to be on fire, which is why I ended that other combo. This, because it gives me a good knockdown and they're on fire. Uh, I mean, I'm not really too well versed with V trigger 2, but the same concept applies. Uh, the, the, what I really want to put out there is I think the key to unlocking the power of Gil I think he sucks if you don't know how to use Retribution or Heat Trigger. I think he sucks. But once you start putting those together, his, his potential starts to explode. So, I don't know about where he is on the tier list or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, just to reiterate. Crouching Heavy Punch I think is one of the keys to the kingdom or whatever you want to fun down. If you like them on an element, so I, I really have to do this again. So crouching heavy punch, they're on fire, and now I'm using forward heavy kick. Because if I use standing heavy kick, it's going to cause retribution. And that might be fine for some killing combos. So if I did this instead as anti-air, and then I did standing heavy kick, it's going to cause retribution, and now they're not on fire. But I want them to be on fire. And the reason, one of the reasons why is because the lariat knockdown is not very good. This knockdown without retribution, it's pretty free for them to back recover. That's why retribution is so important. And uh, that one, that having that one bar. That's it. Hope you learned something. I'm automatic. I'm, I'm automatic. <laughs> uh, you know, leave me some comments and stuff. Let me know what you think.